This weekend saw Bruno University play host to the Future Stars Basketball Tournament 2012, showcasing top UK and European under-18 talent and the future stars of the game. With six teams competing, at the end of the group stages, London United and Sweden found themselves bottom of the list and battling it out fifth and sixth place. England won their group, beating Ukraine and Sweden, whilst Denmark came out on top of Group B. The first of the semi-finals was a hard-fought, physical matchup against Denmark and Ukraine. It was a tight matchup with only six points in it at the end of the first half. By the end of the second half, however, the game was won on the defensive end, with Ukraine applying pressure throughout, booking their place in the final with an 11-point victory. The second spot in the finals would see England playing the Netherlands in a game that saw both teams having to work hard to get the points. Credit has got to go to both teams for their hustle, but in the final quarter, the Netherlands pulled ahead, holding on to a seven-point lead at the buzzer. Sunday morning gave the main tournament players a short rest, with over 70 teams competing in a three-on-three -three tournament. 2012 saw the addition of the three-on-three -three tournament for the first time, and it proved to be a great success. Some players taking part in their first competitive ball game, others having taught the circuits. With a trip to Switzerland to play in the three-on-three -three World Tour Challenger at stake, tension was high, with players pushing themselves to the limit. By midday, the tournament was back underway with a fifth and sixth place decider. London United played a strong first quarter, but eventually Sweden's height advantage saw them catching the rebounds and keeping them off the bottom spot. The third place battle didn't start well for England, who couldn't seem to get the ball to drop. At one point trailing 18 points to two in the first quarter, Denmark, on the other hand, came out looking determined, attacking the boards and winning loose balls. By the final quarter, England had found form from the three-point line and cut the deficit to six, with momentum on their side. But with a few strong plays and team fouls in play, the game moved to the free-throw line, slowing play but securing a well-deserved third place for Denmark, who looked strong throughout the game. The final game of the tournament saw the physical game of Ukraine up against the quick pace of the Netherlands. The first half ended with little in it. Ukraine had defended well and performed strongly on the offensive end. The guards for the Netherlands kept them in the game with their quick ball movement and consistency from outside the arc. Moving into the second half, the Ukraine pulled away, and although on several occasions the Netherlands looked like they, they could get back into the game, the Ukraine's strength, character and determination had pulled them through and left them leaving home with a trophy.